Pankaj ji, very good morning for introduction to uh, our guest joining us. Uh, Pankaj ji is Chief Operating Officer of Bika Nirwala Foods. Uh, Pankaj ji, yes. uh, in the minutiae of the budget, budget, because a lot of the policies and the schemes and the larger vision and planning is pretty much announced through the course of the year by the ministries themselves. Uh, what is the budget then for us today, uh, this morning, especially with an election coming up in a couple of months? See, uh, good morning everyone. Uh, what we are expecting, though is nothing is specified for FMCG sector for anything, but the growth in agriculture sector and the technology is the promising to the boom for Indian economy. And the objective of Indian government, which is now presenting a blueprint for 100 years, is the growth in digitalization, urbanization, rural uh, rural uh, health, rural health, rural distribution, the change of life in the rural sector, plus uh, infra development, promotional uh, promotion experiment. So what we are expecting this year, though 23-24 was not a very good year for us due to various region, the commodity price was uh, inflating like anything. Fuel is also giving a lot of uh, surge in our profit, in our profit and margin margin but in last year a lot of investment through pli so what we are expecting this year this year the things will be changed uh, people uh, the growth in fmcg sector will be more than a expected average growth which is uh, normally 10 percent this year we are expecting around 20 percent lot of investment will come in fmcg sector people will talk about health safety food innovation differentiation differentiation and everything okay so i'm also expecting that government will uh will have a, some kind of control on commodity prices because after election till election everything will be controlled but the biggest challenge is that to what will happen after election after election okay so let me and, so let me pick on that one by one by one with you uh, pankaj ji yeah. now you have a very direct consumer facing business okay so yeah. now help us understand for people watching the broadcast uh, are you seeing, as many people suspect, a boom that there is a consumer out there who's coming in, uh, sees a value proposition, especially in the in in the sector that you are in, uh, which is uh, 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 which is uh, in in foods. Are you seeing more places opening? Are you expanding your footprint and profile uh, within the country? Before I ask you about about outside the country, sir. Yeah, sure. Because uh, the, we are in the sector of food, where every uh, every time everyone expects dil mange more differentiation, product differentiation, innovation, taste, uh, promotionals, promotions, and safe and safe and healthy food. Yeah. So I'm definitely expecting a lot of investment will go in that. Lot of innovations will take place so that people will have a different kind of food which is a safe food, healthy snacking. Okay. Because but are, are you seeing sales also. go up, sir? Are you are you are you looking I'm at, at, at opening? I'm expect, yeah, more yeah, more, more storefronts. Yeah, yeah, I'm expecting this year a normal growth of around 20%, though global growth is around 10%, but in India, I'm expecting this business will go by 20 or 20% due to nuclear family, change of, uh, change of, uh, can I say, people's style, style and people are going for outing and more. If you see a lot of modern trades or a lot of your food ports, full, uh, in, in, can I say, in malls and everywhere, all food ports are full. You are, you'll always get waiting, waiting in that. Hmm. So I'm expecting the food business and FMCG business will grow like anything. It's a okay. convenient. What is the opportunity you're spotting at Bika Nairwala, sir? for expansion, if any, abroad. Is there now a market for, for Indian items, uh, especially the kind of fast-moving items uh, that you uh, you produce uh, abroad? Are you, are you seeing an uh, our, opportunity abroad? Yeah, yeah. Our, uh, our mission is that every fifth Indian consumer should be a customer of Bikano or Bikanirwala. Currently, we have more than 175 stores across India. Plus, we have a 2,500 distributors uh, under in a uh, retail and uh, wholesale wholesale packs. We are uh, expanding through manufacturing footprint. Also, we are putting more plants in rest of the India. In rest of India, we are covering Eastern India part, Western India part, and Southern India part, and Dubai, Dubai, and in, in Nepal also. Nepal also with our stores also retail pack also and the wholesale wholesale pack also because. And so a lot of investment is also going on because we are expecting a huge growth, huge growth in the next five years. Okay, so you are expecting huge growth. So the, so the economy 
Oh, uh, Pankaj, according to you, seems to be in, in a healthy state. You people are out there. They're wanting to spend money. They want to go out, as you mentioned, for outings. Doesn't make a difference which city it is. So what is your judgment call from the growth that you're seeing in your sector and your company on the state of the economy? You will surprise right now the maximum growth is coming from rural sector. Because earlier rural sector was totally untapped. Now, from urban, the people are going rural and they are taking advantage of uh, as a first mover, as a first mover. But definitely, the food safety has become important, with playing a vital role there, with a the differentiation and taste differentiation also. Okay, that so, is also so very important. Where, where Innovation we, is also very important. Where do we need intervention, sir? Is it is it cutting down logistics costs? Is it about taxation? Uh, before I ask you about GST, where do you need the intervention? Where things will actually make it better for you as a company to run? I tell you the snacking has become now it's a common food. Earlier the biscuit industry and the bakery industry was a poor man food, but now the snacking also joined. We are offering the services food in five rupees and 10, 10 bucks. So and the GST is around 12, 12%. 12%. I'm expecting a reduction in GST up to the suite level, which is around 5%. And then the second thing is the logistic cost. Yes, this will not come from government side. This will come from our manufacturing footprint. Food, manufacturing footprint. We have to put small, small units after in the radius of 200 to 300 kilometers. Okay. Uh, quickly, sir, uh, uh, to, to wind this up, when it comes to what became initially uh, the implementation of GST became a very complicated, complex affair. Have you seen an easy, uh, an ease, or uh, easing of compliance, of compliance costs, of uh, of getting refunds on time in uh, in filings, and of course a direct bearing on making your life with a single GST regime across the country a bit easier? I don't think you now there is any issue in GST filing and GST and any that. I think uh, government has uh, come out with a lot of solutions and I, I don't find any problem. Even in my organization, I've not seen even a single single issue in entire year as a CEO. Okay, so the problem that was there three, four years ago uh, is, yeah, is disappearing. That is not there. That okay, is not. Is disappearing. That is not there. All right, Pankaj Agarwal, thank you very much for joining us this thank morning. Uh, for more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.